What's up, guys? Yeah. I just got done uh, changing some compressor mounts on a carrier commercial rooftop unit. Uh, so I'm going to put a couple little short clips in there for that. And uh, I didn't get a very good chance to make some recording, you know, because I was with a co-worker. It's over at a facility he uh, maintenance is at for the same company, and they have me go over there and do HVAC stuff, so that's where we got some rooftop units for me to work on. And, uh, anyway, they had some, uh, you know, a uh, seven-ton, or, I'm sorry, not seven-ton, it's a seven, so it's 70,000 BTU, you know, rooftop unit, carrier commercial unit. And, uh, the scroll compressor, the vibrations of it, you know, they were hearing that all the way inside the building, you know, where they had all the offices at, so, actually vibrating one of the lights. So, I knew about these, uh, isolator style compressor motor mounts and I went and picked some up from Sigler and we put them on. I went ahead and put them on both RTUs in that area but especially the one and it made such a difference that when we were inside we weren't didn't even know when the unit started. I'm not kidding. I had to go back and look at the thermostat again because it was you know saying wait and then uh, the Honeywell thermostat touched screen. Then it said you know cool on we did not hear when the unit kicked on. We actually started feeling the cold air and the blower. We heard the blower running, but I didn't think the compressor had started. So, wow, what a difference. And it, uh, those things, if anybody's got, you got a, a vibration problem on a scroll compressor and somebody, especially in a residential, they're complaining of it, especially since a reciprocating compressor has a steady hum to it, and you got that oscillating kind of vibration sound from the scrolls, you know, you'll get complaints. So if you got that problem, go to Sigler, you know, and you just ask for the isolation style, you know, uh, motor mounts for the compressors. And that will take care of your problems there. So I'm going to now uh, just show a couple of little short video clips of before and after. It's nothing special. And uh, other than that, enjoy. Here's the motor mount kit. Look at these are pretty solid right there. Look what I did. Look what I did. I already loosened it up. Hold on. Just screw them right in there like that. Look at that the other one. You have two. Oh, it's already it's already in there. Here we go. Lift it up and so I can give me the. I need this place to put it. Okay. These are removed, which was, you know, this with this, you know, bolts down solid. So we don't have very much cushion. These bolt down. And then the compressor just sits on there. And then it doesn't come with the washer nuts, but you're supposed to put like a washer as a nut right there. Let these just sit like that. It's way more, way more springy. Doesn't look like much, but it always makes a big difference in vibration. Yeah, the sound from the vibration. Yeah, so. And this accumulator was bolted down in there, so I stuck all the old rubbers under there. 